Hey guys, so uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to install the uh, custom firmware that Alex made and uh, you can find it posted on the uh, Voxel Lab Aquila subreddit. But for uh, step one here, just get right into it. You're going to want to insert your SD card that came with your printer. You can use even the little adapter and everything. And then you're going to right click the file. You're going to proper, you're going to format the SD card and you want to set the allocation unit size to 4096 bytes. Then go ahead and just quick format it, no big deal. Wait for it to finish. And then um, we're going to go ahead and open it up. We're gonna create a new folder called firmware. But where do you get the firmware you might ask? Well, let's go ahead and go to there now. And we're going to open the GitHub. I will link it in the video description below. And you can also find it linked on the uh, subreddit or the Voxlab Aquila in the uh, sticky pinned post. So first step, we're gonna wanna go ahead and hit this code button right here on the GitHub. And we're just gonna download the zip file. So it'll download down below. And then we're gonna go to the releases tab and we're gonna download the firmware. And now you can either pick the pre-release, which I don't recommend doing if you're new to this, this is your first time. But um, so you go ahead and go to the the release and then you can choose the 4x4 which means that the uh, BL touch is going to scan in a 4x4 grid so just four points on the printer or a 9x9 which will you know get nine points on the printer and that's up to you what you want to do and then if you don't have a BL touch or you uh, don't want one whatever the story may be you can download the default no probe dot bin and that's my case right now since my BL touch is coming in the mail so we'll go ahead and just download it click here and it will download and then we're going to go ahead and drag that same default dot no probe dot bin into the firmware file so now we've got it in there and we can go ahead and remove the sd card and bring it over to our printer i will uh, transition to that so now that you've got your firmware onto the sd card let's go ahead and stick it into the printer i'm going to yank the cable out for my octopi Come on. God, I have such shaky hands. There we go. So now that you've got that plugged in into the front of your voxel lab, you're going to go ahead and turn your printer on. Yours will not look like this. I just already have my screen flash, so it kind of looks funny. But there's the progress bar, and there's that. Now your screen won't look like this yet. It'll look all messed up if you try to turn your printer back on. I just already have this flashed and set. So. Go ahead and turn your printer back off. Remove the SD card. And then put it back into your computer. So now that you've got your firmware flashed to your printer itself, we need to do the screen now. So we can go ahead and open this zip file. After you, you want to reinsert your SD card, go ahead and go back and go ahead and delete the firmware folder. You don't need it anymore. It's all fine. So we'll go back to the zip file, open that up, open it, go ahead and just extract it. Or if you're using the win regular Windows File Explorer, no big deal, just go ahead and open it up. And then we're gonna go to display firmware, this file right here. And we're gonna grab this entire dwin underscore set file and drag it over into the SD card. The whole folder, this should be how it looks. So. Now we can go ahead and remove the SD card and bring that over to our printer so that we can start flashing the screen. If you don't flash your screen, it's going to look visually horrible and very buggy and it will not look right. Um, so you definitely need to do this step. So now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and reach down here under it and pull the two little tabs in so you can kind of pry your screen off. Now you're going to want to disconnect the cable, super easy, just pull it out and take a screwdriver and remove the four screws underneath the screen so that we can get to the SD card slot that's under the screen. And now this may seem scary to some of you new people out there 3D printing, I don't exactly recommend this to novices because it is a custom firmware, it's not a officially supported i guess you could say like but i'm sure if you post any issues you had on the subreddit somebody would be more than happy to help you out 
with any questions or troubleshooting steps. So that you get the four screws out. Let's go ahead and pull up on oh, go ahead and pull up on one side and pull it off. Super easy. I think I slid my SD I did. So now what we're gonna want to do is we're going to install the SD card into that little card reader right there. Kind of finicky, I have shaky hands, so there you go. So now we got it plugged in. And we're gonna plug the screen back in without the back cover off. And I'll just set that right there for filming purposes. So now that you got that plugged in, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the printer back on. And the screen should go blue. Yep, there it is. And then the orange. So now that it's orange, go ahead and turn the printer back off. Just with the switch on the back, go ahead and take the SD card out. Come on. So now the SD card is out and on my floor with all of the cat hair. You can go ahead and turn the printer back on. Make sure it works. There's a Voxel Lab logo. There it is loading up. And that's it. You're done installing the firmware and everything. You can go ahead and unplug it. Or go ahead and power your printer back off now that you verified that it works. Take the screen back off, unplug it, smack the back cover back on, put the four screws back in, and that's basically it. Just uh, repeat the steps to um, reinstall everything. And um, they do make a printed mount. There's a printed mount that you can print on Thingiverse that I will also link in the description that allows you to twist the display because the display will be oriented differently than uh, standard. It'll kind of be in, on its side in portrait mode almost. So it will be sideways for this mount. I still need to print the other mount, but yeah. So now that I got the four screws in, I will plug it, it back in to the printer and snap it back down on my mount because I haven't mount printed the other one yet. And you're good to print. Should be all the same. And if you've got your BL Touch on, then your BL Touch will work with the BL Touch firmware and there'll be an option here called Level. And uh, I'll do a video on how to install BL Touch on the Voxel Lab uh, next video because mine is still coming in the mail. So yeah, thanks for uh, watching guys. I hope this helped you if you were uh, confused as I was at first.